In this tutorial, I'll show how to extract a list of free proxies. On the first part, I'll show how to extract the full proxy list, and on the second, I'll show how to apply filters to extract only a select set of proxies. I will create a new project and call it Proxy List. Since later on, I'll be creating other globals, I will delete the main global and add a new one with a more descriptive name, called All Proxies. Now, I'll select Load URL from the wizard to load the current page. Since there are many pages, I will select Turn Pages from the wizard to extract all pages. Now I'll turn on selection mode, select the next button on the page, and click Create Selector from Samples. I will call this selector Next Button. Instead of adding my extraction logic here, in order to be able to reuse it, I will add it on a new global, which I will call Extract Page. Before adding my extract action, note that on this site, the number of visible columns varies depending on the browser size. So I will resize the browser until all columns are shown, and then go to the project settings and set Synchronize Browser Sizes to True. This will cause the off-screen browsers, which are the ones where the extraction runs, to have the same size as the main browser. Now I will select Extract from the wizard on the global I've just created. Since this is a list, I will select List. We can see that it did not select all the rows, so I will press No here. Then, I will select a couple of elements, one on each row, by selecting them while holding the Control key, and then press Detect List. These are the right rows, so I will press Next and then Done. Since it did not detect the last checked column, because all elements had the same text, I will manually add it here by right-clicking the last column and selecting Add Sibling. I will call this column Last Checked. Now, I will add a selector by selecting a couple of sample elements, right-clicking this placeholder, and selecting Create Selector from Samples. I will call this selector Last Checked. Finally, I will go back to the All Proxies global I created first, add a new sibling after the last action, and select the Extract Page global that I just created. Now I'll press play on the All Proxies global to start the extraction, and double click the All Proxies table to see the data as it's populated. Now, I'd like to extract proxies only from a few countries. To do this I'll first create another global, which I will call Select Proxies. Then I'll add a Load URL action to load the current page. Instead of turning the pages, I want to filter by country, so I will select Fill Form from the wizard. Also, I want to change the number of proxies shown per page. So I will add a new table, which I will call Input, and add two columns. Count, for the number of proxies, and Country, for the country filter. We can see on the page, that the maximum number of proxies per page is 80. So I will set 80 on the Count column. Under the Country column, I will type United States and United Kingdom. Now I need to match columns to selectors, such that the data in the columns is used to fill up the elements selected by the selectors. For the Count column, I will turn on Selection Mode, select the drop-down list on the page, and then press Create Selector from Samples. I will call the selector drop down. For the country column, I will select the input box on the page and then press create selector from samples. I will call this selector search box. Now the data in the count column will be used to select the number of proxies shown per page. And the data in the country column will be used to populate the search box, such that proxies are filtered out. 
Now I'll press the next button and skip this step because we don't need to submit a form and then press done. Finally, I will add a new sibling after the last action and select the extract page global to extract all rows after the form is filled up. Now I'll press play to start extracting. We can see on the off-screen browsers that each browser is running a separate search, and the form is being filled up. And the selected proxies have been extracted to the Selected Proxies table. This concludes our tutorial.